Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I am doing your daily love reading for September 19th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Water Signs. So that's Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. In that order, please. Alright. Really good energy around you guys today. Beautiful. Alright. Cancer. The King of Wands. So, um, you guys are dealing with somebody who is very, um, very well grounded, very well off, very attractive. Pisces, you guys have the sun. And Scorpio, you guys have the queen of wands. Wow. Lots of fire here. All three fire. We got Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo up in the house right now. Okay, the bottom of the deck in your overall situation is the moon in reverse, clarified by the Six of Cups. Wow. Oh, wow, guys. You guys are going to have an amazing day, if you didn't know that already. Um, you guys are all dealing with somebody from your past, whether it be in this past life or um, in the past, like in, whether it be in past lives or in the past of this life. You guys uh, are dealing with a soulmate energy, um, somebody that you are currently uh, possibly separated from. With the moon in reverse, um, there is something that's going to come out, come forward towards um, this relationship. If you see in the back of this card, there are two kids there with somebody in the back watching. So there's somebody in the uh, in the background waiting for the right time to make this move. Um, for you cancers, you could be dealing with an Aries male who's very well established, very well grounded, got his things, got his stuff together. People um, are magnetically drawn to this person, um, you being one of them. However, you guys have a special connection that you guys have never felt before and you are wanting them or waiting for them to come back. Let's see here. Cancer males. Cancer females. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Cancer males. You guys have the page of swords in the reverse. Um, you could have Aries in your chart most definitely. But um, what this is saying is that you're confident. You know that you are a good partner for this person. You know that they're coming back and you're no longer having the need to hunt them down or find out information about them or wonder where they're at. You are just patiently waiting, looking fabulous. And they are going to return to you in this next moon phase, which is uh, coming up in the next couple days. Cancer females, you guys are getting wishes come true with the star card here. Um, you most definitely are dealing with an Aries male, either sun, moon, or rising, no other signs. Um, this person is everything you had hoped for. You're wondering if it's too good to be true. The connection is spot on, passionate, desire, um, love, affection. However, you are in separation from this person. Um, you're wondering if they're too good to be true. No, they're not. This is the real deal. So go ahead and... <clears throat> reach out to this connection because I see for this group of you, this person uh, has been trying to reach you, but you've been keeping them at a distance. All right. Pisces, you guys have the sun. This is most definitely uh... Oh, let me see here. All right. So, um, for you Pisces males, you guys are moving forward and moving on from some, um, you guys are really evolving the way you think, the way you see relationships. You are moving on from an old thought process that uh, was centered a lot around love, relationships, partners, what you give and get. You're really moving on and evolving into a more um, spiritually based uh, foundation of of what to build a relationship on. And this is most definitely going to find success um, in bringing the two of you 
back together. This is also um, with six and six. It's balance. You're finding your balance. And um, and finally following your heart. And the universe has got your back on this one. Pisces females, you guys are um, you guys are in separation from a partner with the Hierophant in reverse. You guys uh, are wanting this relationship to come back together, to be more committed. Um, it's not time yet. I just heard it's you got to wait for divine timing. So continue to um, put trust into the universe and work on yourself uh, because this person is healing their own wounds from past secrets that they dealt with in other relationships. You guys will come back together. However, I do see you by the end of the year. All right. Scorpios, uh, Scorpio males, you have a Scorpio or a Sagittarius female on your mind. Um, most definitely you find this person desirable, sexy. You want to, um, you want to have a relationship with them. Uh, however, you feel they're very secretive, Scorpio males, and that worries you. Uh, you are also brokenhearted by this person in the past, or they were to you. So you are um, worried that they would not want to have uh, a relationship or even a friendship with you. But they have gotten over this hurt, or you have. And I do see these two people coming back together also um, as soon as all the secrets are aired out and uh, and you guys can move past that for some of you, Scorpio males, you have children with this person, um, but are not married or dating each other. I do see you trying to make it work again. And Scorpio females, you have the fool in reverse. So you are facing fear. You are fearful of, um, what is next. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. Uh, but you're just, you're, you're kind of, stopped in your tracks due to the unknown. You're not sure where it's going to go from here. You could possibly have children, um, from a different relationship. So you're not worried or you're not sure if they would accept that. And you could be keeping these children, not as a secret, but have not, uh, told them yet. Uh, yeah, but I do see you in the next week finding the courage to, move forward and take that leap with somebody. All right. Water signs, codependency, addic addictions are affecting your romantic life. The bottom of the deck is unrequited love. So, um, for some of you, you could be with somebody, uh, or somebody is codependent on you. Uh, and that's what's stopping, uh, these things from coming in for you. So somebody could be just with you because, they have a problem <clears throat> and they're codependent on you for finances. Somebody could be with you um, with that unrequited love because they have addictions and they can't um, stand on their own two feet by themselves. It's time to uh, to stop enabling people. If you are the one with the codependency, um, reach out for help. But don't stay in a relationship just because it is financially um working out for you or if like you're using somebody, this could go either you guys or someone's doing this to you, but it's time to take back control of your life. So, all right, water signs overall, you guys had an amazing reading. Um, those angel cards apparently were for somebody specific because overall your guys' energy is amazing and full of passion and newness and, and great things. So, I hope you guys have a beautiful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.